the important thing is, I feel like foundation repair overall is a pretty oversold thing. The industry 20 years ago was engineering-led, where engineers would go out and they would initiate the repair process. But then there was a shift where the foundation repair guys came in with their free estimates. And so people went with the free estimate. Route. Instead of calling a professional. Instead of calling an engineer, they, yeah, they, they would go for the free estimate. That's it's lowered the barrier of entry for people to feel like they can have this company sell their peers. They have all of the fancy equipment. I've seen them come through with their their tools and their equipment to be able to measure and, and yeah, decide. Yeah, they'll measure it. They'll measure it. They'll measure it. But that little old sheetrock crack where engineers used to say, that's fine. Now they're peering that up, and now we're all programmed, oh, that little crack, that's going to be foundation repair. And so our, our tolerance of sheetrock cracks is so low. Any little crack, we think that's... Right, exactly. And it's not. And the vast majority of cracks are really just fine. It's what they are. They're, they're cosmetic cracks. Little smile lines, right? And yeah, you might paint it. We put makeup on every day but we get our small lines back every day. Exactly. Put a little paint on it, it may come back. <laughs> so uh, just because you have a small crack in your sheetrock doesn't necessarily mean, or even in your tile, doesn't mean that your foundation is failing. That's right. Very, in fact, very rarely does it. Okay. Such great yeah. information. Yeah. And, and again, with the engineering, I got, like for a typical slab, we're 500 bucks. But if you do need repair, those contractors, they're going to turn around and you're going to pay for that on the back end anyway. So in my experience, peers can cost anywhere from $200 to $250. So if a homeowner is being oversold the amount of peers that they really need, having an engineer come out and evaluate really pays for itself. Save you one peer, you know. Exactly. <laughs> that would be enough. And it's also something where you can kind of equate it to going to see the doctor and taking medicine opposed to going to a pharmacy asking someone there what to purchase and they give you some medicine without actually seeing a professional doctor. Yes, that's true. And really, the real benefit for particularly for real estate agents and at the ends of these short option periods is if you have an engineering report, you can get 10 estimates just like that over the email email the contractor, they'll bid right from an engineering report, they'll all bid even Steven on the same report. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you have an engineer's report, they can bid on that. They'll they don't all have bid to go back same, out to the home, they don't right. have to remeasure. You can email 10 of them and get a bid back from 10 contractors exactly. overnight. I've shown up to people's homes and they'll have stacks of contractor bids. It, they've called 30 of them. There'll be a stack like that. I'm like, oh God. And their contractor opinions. And they're all different, you know, and it, when, when you, that, that's interesting, like when you really don't need work, they'll all be different because they don't, they're all doing something a little different. Right, right. <laughs> it's kind of, well, that's, that's why I'm so excited to have you here so that we can <laughs> educate people on the myths yeah. and the do's and don'ts and why to call a professional engineer like that's yourself it. and your firm. So anyway, that, that's, you know, there's a lot of information there. Oh, so helpful it's, to anyone watching. It's like any, it's like any industry, any professional, the, their industry is very nuanced. There's all kinds of little hidden thing, the way the industry works. And to an outsider, there's a lot of things that people don't understand. Uh, so I, I feel like Hiring an, an independent engineer is always the best option. So. I do as well, and having that consultative approach, and it's very reasonable. Sometimes home sellers and buyers think that it could be thousands of dollars mm -hmm. to call an engineer, and it's not. Mm -hmm. It can be $500 to have your, your home and slab or pier and beam mm -hmm. foundation looked at, but it's definitely, in my opinion, valuable money spent. I agree. Well, Sophia, that's kind of all I've got for today. My firm is Lighthouse Engineering. It's just lighthouseeng.com, as in lighthouseengineering.com. 
Uh, and by the way, and you might not have noticed this before, but if you go to the, the website Lighthouse ENG, there's a little audio thing at the bottom, and if you click on it, it kind of goes through this similar stuff. Awesome. Again, but we had it, it was a professional voiceover that did it. Okay. It's, it's really good. It's, okay. Cool. It's designed for the client that says, I don't want to spend 500 on an engineer. Why do I spend 500? Let me go, do some research. Go to this re website, watch this audio thing, and it tells them why. Awesome. Um, but, um, but anyway, I, and just again, I wanted to reiterate my thank you to Sophia Polk Realty. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so excited to have you here. I'm and honored to be uh, one of your referrals. Thank you. You've just been a plethora of information for all of us today. So we've been very excited to have you here. And of course, I always learn something new when I spend time with you. So mm -hmm. you've taught me a few things today okay. as well. Awesome. Thank you again for, for coming by and for being on our videos. You're welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to view other helpful tips, click here. If you would like to view a neighborhood we specialize in, click here. And to subscribe and stay updated, click on the circle below. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.